Welcome to this video about the loci equidistance from two lines. We're going to construct it, but before I do, just a quick summary. We've done loci from a point, uh, we've done loci from a line, loci equidistance to two points, and now the final one, equidistance to two intersecting lines. And we realize that loci means all the points fitting a particular description, okay? Uh, so make sure you've seen those videos before you uh, have a look at this one, and you can check my site explainingmaths.com where you're going to find all my resources nicely uh, put together for you. Okay, now let's say I have the line AB, um, okay, over there, and I'll make another line, let's say with an angle of 60 degrees, AC. Okay, now that, the, this could be the shore, uh, perhaps, of, uh, so this is uh, the land, okay, and then we have the sea in the middle. And this boat wants to make sure that it sails exactly equidistance of AC to AB, so exactly in the middle, yeah? So just your gut feeling, exactly equidistant from those two lines, you know this boat has to roughly sail like that. Do we agree with that? Equidistance, yeah? So I'm not going to sail here, I'm not going to sail here because that's nearer to AB than to AC, no, I'm going to sail exactly in the middle. But this is not estimation, yeah, this is not science, guys, this is maths, yeah, we do things properly and accurately. So how do we do that? We have to construct the angle bisector, well done, yeah? So before I do, very quickly, loci from a point, <clears throat> you do the circle, okay, with a radius of a particular amount, loci from a line, parallel lines, yeah, but then at the vertices, semicircles, depending on the question, equidistance from two points, my previous video, the perpendicular bisector or line bisector, and an equidistance from two lines, it is the angle bisector. Now, I told you this is an angle of 60 degrees, so it's gonna be 30, 30 degrees, but we have to construct it. And in other videos, I've shown you how to do that, but I'll show you now again, it's very easy. Um, you have a compass, and make sure you buy a compass, they're not expensive, but when you open it, that it stays in the same position. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, yeah? Um, so that it doesn't move, okay? Make sure you buy a proper compass. Okay, what do I do? I open my compass, doesn't matter how far, but not too far because it's difficult to work with, not too, too close because it's difficult to work with, I just open it a couple of centimeters. But once I decide upon a particular width, it doesn't matter how wide, once I've decided, I gotta stay or stick to that width. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm gonna put the needle in my angle and I'm gonna intersect, intersect, I should say, those legs that creates my, uh, my angle, okay? So it's there and there. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm in black, I'm just going to, um, just going to trace that with marker. So this arc of the circle and that arc, okay? I do not have to draw the entire circle, yeah? That's just going to confuse me. I'm only interested in those uh, intersecting parts with the arms of my angle, okay? Very carefully, I'm not gonna change the width, and if I accidentally change the width of my compass, I just have to start over again, doesn't matter. But if the width is still the same, I'm gonna put my needle now in this point of intersection and draw this arc of the circle, and I'm gonna do the same from this point of intersection and draw that arc over there. Now why again don't I not, do I not have to draw the entire circle? I know that my angular bisector is going in that direction, so I'm looking for this point of intersection and uh, again, I'll trace what I just did with my compass. I'm looking for that point of intersection over here, yeah, so I don't have to draw the, the rest of the circle, because from my angle through that point of intersection, so my estimation early on was quite accurate, actually, this is my oh, angular bisector. And I'll tell you that a long time ago, I was in the Navy, and we used to do this all the time, yeah? Creating um, the loci of points equidistance to two lines, yeah? because then we knew how to navigate the ship, yeah? And I'm pretty sure they still do it, okay? So it's the angular bisector. Good. Like and share if this was useful, guys. Um, then I can help your friends too. Check my site, explainingmaths.com. You can ask me questions there if you want in the forum. I'll help you. You'll find all the videos basically you need to pass your maths exams, yeah? All for free, by the way. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.